Hello everyone, I am Nutrix and today a little visit of my studio talking about how it is. I'll show you a little bit, a little bit of behind the scene, but I'm mostly going to talk about how I'm thinking and planning for the change I want to do in the studio. I'm basically going to take everything out in a couple of weeks, maybe next week. And I want to reposition everything so it's more ergonomic for me. It's more useful for everything I do. And at the same time, I thought it would be interesting to talk about my thought process because it might bring you ideas about how to approach where you want to put everything and think about what you want to do in your space. So let's just dive in right away. I have a almost cubic room. It's a small room in the basement. I have about, oh, wait a sec. A little bit more than eight feet long by actually less by 92. So like seven feet and a half by eight feet and something. So it's not a big space. Um, so right away, I'm always, when people come in and they say, oh, we're going to sit in your studio, I'm like, yeah, but we're also almost going to be sitting on one on top of the other. It's very small and the camera that you well, you that are here are basically almost at the wall there's another feet or a feet and a half behind you so what i want to do i want to change the whole space so it's nicer for you to look at of course it's part of the show but also that it's easier for me to be able to, and that's where it becomes difficult. It's when you think about everything you want to do in the room. I use this space for making music, that's one. Demoing stuff, that's, that means I need a space where I can put stuff that I receive and I'm gonna have for like a month or so. So it's gonna be a temporary demonstration section that I can just put stuff there and demo it. I also uh, work from home for my full-time job where I work at the school. Um, so, and I like to work with a, you know, half my day standing up, half my day sitting. So I need a space that actually can bring up the table or a surface. That's what I have at, at work. I have a surface I can bring up. Whoops. So I can actually stand up, you know, one hour, work an hour, stand up an hour. And it's a lot better for my back. So I want to do this here. But here, if I put it at exactly where my, my desk is... I've got these things on top, and then when I say these things, I can show you that I have this here, okay? So this will not be able to accept that I bring stuff up. So it means that un unless I take these cupboard out, which I need, I need storage space, I'm probably gonna move my computer station in the corner so I can have this kind of here, and I can stand up and work standing up and facing on the corner, basically. So then I need to rethink about everything here. And one of the problems I notice when I want to play music, when I want to just jam, is that some of the stuff that I have is they're not located in the way that I can actually get easy access to it and work on it for a long time. Let's say I want to program a beat and we'll work on it for like an hour. Um, if I look at... This one here, it's okay, but it's really far away. Let's, let me just show you what I think. Oh, I'm just gonna put that here. I have this on a stand, kind of a you know DJ type of laptop stand, and it's very sturdy. I like it. it. I mean, it doesn't move that much, so this is interesting. But this is a tablet kind of. It's on the wall, and it's fixed, and it's actually at the wrong height. Because if, like here, if I stand up, this section is hiding the top knobs. And if I want to have access to them, if I bring them up, this is actually falling. So it's not deep enough 
to put the equipment I have. And it's too close to the one on top, so I, I, I don't see it correctly. And I want to be able to have access to gear to play with it while sitting or being close to the table and then being able maybe to move it on the side so then I can use that space to demo something that I have. This is a better example of what I'm kind of looking for. I have a, I have a wooden plank here. Under it, I have, I just have feet that it's actually the height of the keyboard is just enough to get in under it. So I have a desk that is about two feet deep. I've got the space for the keyboard. So if I need it, I can pull it out. I can have access to the buttons and all that stuff. If I don't want, I can just pull it back in and just have the keys and play if it's if it's what I'm looking for. And then on top of it, I've got, this is a, a right height to play. Same thing here. The height is good. I've got access to everything. I can actually sit down or be standing and it works. And this I can pull out. Just to find a way, maybe I have a, a, a stopper somewhere here so this doesn't fall. Actually now it's holding by the feet, the rubber feet under it. So then I can actually, you know, work on my song, make what I want. And then if I need, if I wanted to put it back here, I can put it back. I could have something else I can pull out. So I look at different things. I want to be able to bring stuff to me, play with it and push it back in when I don't need it. I've got all this other stuff at the bottom here that is just taking too much space for my legs to be there. So I'm going to move that on that fort wall that you are always in on the other side. If I want me, I'll show you what I have on the fort wall cables and stuff and lights and a mirror so <laughs> and that's the camera that I film with and lights and lights and lights and lights and cables and cables and cables and cables so the stuff that you don't want to see is on the other side the stuff that I have here should be over there and then have this for only me working with music and um, so I'll show you what I looked at for holding my stuff. So I'm still thinking about where I should put the console. Should it be at the middle? Should it be under it on a tray? I pull it forward me when I want to play with it and push it back in uh, on, or in a drawer that I pull out. I don't know because I really don't need to have access to everything all the time on the mixer because I'm not mixing on it. I just bring everything in. Sometimes I need to play with some of the knobs, but again, it's it's something that I could pull out and pull back in. So it could be under the desk on something that I bring out and pull back. So I'm still thinking how to put, because I would get more desk space. That's kind of where I want to be now. I want to be able to have, to have this shorter and have more space for me to come closer to the gear and play with it and have as, have as less possible stuff at the back. And let me, let me show you what I looked at and you'll, you'll, Maybe you'll see what I'm thinking. So one example is something like this, you know, something like this, something you can just use and have it on top of everything. That's what I have on this one. That's basically, you know, I have, I have two of them. It doesn't cost too much. It's pretty solid. It doesn't move, well, but still, you see, still move. But if they're both uh, of the legs on a sturdy table, it gives you a rather solid, you know. The other one is something like this. I asked myself, should I have something like that? You know, because this, I can actually move it towards me, push it back in, bring it up or down. And imagine I would have my two drums, my TR8S on this and my, well, I say the other drum, but it's not a drum, it's the, Mono station base state, uh, the yeah, the mono station from Novation. If I have it on arms like these, I can just pull it back in, program stuff, and push it back out. Now, there's a question of cables, but if I've got long enough cables, it should be you know clean and managed in a right way. Um, so, something like this is interesting because you can actually move it different way, tilt it, and so. 
Another example, but it, of course it costs more money. This thing also is possible. You know, you have like something at the bottom, something on top, and something at the back, which is not bad. You know, it's it's uh, you, this example like this. It works. So, and this again doesn't cost too much, and it's fairly stable because it's two piece of metals. You know, it's it, it's not. So this kind of three tier type of approach is also interesting. And there's there's this, you know, standard laptop type of holder. I have one for my laptop here. So if I bought another one, maybe it could be good just for having the, you know, one of my drum machine or I, I wouldn't put a keyboard on this because it's going to be wobbling but it could be okay for a keyboard machine, a drum machine, or um, a, a like the MIDI cake ARP or something like that. So I kind of, I kind of wonder, you know. Um, I also have a bunch of things I want to bring back into the rack mount. I've got a couple of things on rack mount. I'm just buying RAMs to upgrade my VP9000, and I wanted to bring it back into the session studio, if you want, it's the active studio. Um, and I'm not sure where to put it. Again, it's stuff that could be on the rack under it, you know, under the table. And I just have a couple of devices that I have access to. So what I know that I want for now is I want to create a space in your section. that's going to be a bit wider so I could put more stuff that you don't see, like boxes and you know, storage and maybe arrange this so it's cleaner when we look at it, when I look at it. But I want to have a U that from around me here is a big U that has equipment on this side, on that side, and me probably sitting somewhere here where I can stand up and have my screen, laptop, Where's the where's the mixer is gonna go? And where will I put the camera then? Because if I actually sit here, then I'm gonna be sitting back from you. If I wanna still keep a camera, maybe maybe an angle like this, you know, maybe something like this would be interesting, you know, when I sit down for just one sec. Maybe wait a sec. Maybe something like this, then that I'll be able to talk to you like this instead. Or I mean lower, but you get my drift. There's different ways I can set up the camera angle and have a white shot and be able to go in there and there. But if then we talk about, hey, let's do a demo about something, I might still need to have something here. That's why I'm saying if I sit here for the computer, I might be able to turn it here. If my computer screen is on a stand like I have right now, if you look here, you see my computer is on a a uh, arm basically attached to a pole and I've got a laptop attached to the same pole on the other side just here. If I have this, but install here and then I can move the arm over there so I can do my demo by talking to you and do the demo like this. But if I go back to work, I push it back here. So a movable arm for this would be useful. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing's gonna be easy. <laughs> I'll figure out a way, I'll figure out a way. I think the hardest thing in this is is that I know I want a solution that I'll be able to change easily because I know that in three to four months, I'm going to move stuff again around saying, OK, this is better, this like this, like that. But I would like to have a core base that doesn't move too much and or that it's it's easy to modify, you know? Something that I can, like, if I only have, like, tables and then smaller type of tables or just planks with legs on top, they're just the size of what is on the top section. 
and under it I have some stuff that I can move in and out, like a keyboard that I can glide in and push out. That's a cool thing. And if I go a little bit further, I could have what is on top using these two tiers. So I'm going to have still three things and then I need less space. I'm going to think about that because if I do it this way, maybe I'm going to have keyboards here and there. And here I'm going to have the laptop and a computer screen and the mixer on, under it. And, and I'm going to have my speakers. That's the other question. Should I have my speaker there or kind of around me like this and me facing in the corner? I'm not sure. Anyway, my sound here sucks because it's a cube. It's the worst possible shape for acoustic quality. So anyway, I'm going to have to compromise and... Uh, yeah, I know what I'll do next. I'm basically going to take the measure of everything, measure all the gear, and create fake space on a drawing system and just position them to verify if everything would fit in my space the way I imagine it. I'll do more of my planning, and I'll show if, if you're interested in the member section, I'll do the in-depth analysis of what I do for the planning of the space and why I decided one thing and the other. Uh, if you have any suggestion, put them below. You know, I'm open to you suggestion for this, but I want to have something that is easy to manage. I can move stuff around as I change the way I work in the studio. I add stuff, pull it back out, and I want to be able to connect, have access to the back of the gear easily not too easily but still easily enough that i can I, update stuff around and i don't want this to cost too much <laughs> most of the stuff that i have here is ikea and i bought a lot of it in the um as is the section where they just sell demos and planks and stuff that people came, brought back um and it costs not much and i really just need planks basically to create the space i want Okay, I'll dive more into the planning, measuring, and uh, if you want to know more, in the member section, I'll go deeper in that. Stay safe, make more music, and plan well. <laughs>